Hello all and welcome to my channel Vosek Geeks. This is Asad Ahmed and today I'm going to show you uh, about post SQL injection hacking website database. This is by the way the second part of my first video. If you haven't worn, watched that video, link is in the description. Go ahead and watch it first. So let's start the video. So our first step is to open our Kali Linux. I have installed this Kali Linux in uh, Oracle VirtualBox. Now I'm going to open the terminal emulator from Kali start menu. As you can see here, this one right here is the start menu. Clicking it, here is the terminal emulator. Open it. Now type bug suite in the terminal and pasting it. And now the bug suite is going to load. After bug suite loading, click on next button and then click on start bug button. Right? I'm closing this, clicking on next button and starting bug suite. Now you will see the Burp Suite interface as you can see here. On the top you will see different tabs like Dashboard, Target, Proxy, etc. So here, Dashboard, Target, Proxy, Intruder, there are uh, lots of tabs here. Now I'm going to click on Proxy tab and click on proxy clicking on proxy from here and click on its sub tab that is intercept and then under it uh, we have to click on intercept is on to disable it we are already under intercept and clicking it makes that proxy off okay so next step is to open our web browser in Kali Linux from start menu or search Firefox ESR from search bar I'm going to minimize it start menu I'm typing Firefox and we got Firefox ESR I'm going to click it. The browser has just popped up. After Mozilla opens, we have to type about colon preferences in the URL address bar and hit enter. So I'm going to pasting about colon preferences and hit enter. Now scroll down and at the end of the page you will see network settings. Along with the settings button just click on it. So I'm scrolling it, scrolling down, down and we are in network settings. Clicking on settings button. Now click on manual proxy configuration, radio button and type 127.0.0.1 in HTTP proxy and HTTPS proxy along with the port 8080 and then close it. I have already used the bug suite that's why as you can see here I've already entered the address and the port numbers. Now I'm going to close it.
now open a new tab and paste this URL this is the site I'm going to demonstrate a post SQL injection on and you will see a site login panel has been loaded let me open it in our next tab pasting now it is loaded so I'll perform the post SQL injection right from uh, here this uh, login panel now go to your bug suite and enable intercept is on by clicking on it so here's a bug suite I'm going to enabling the proxy bug suite intercepting pro uh, proxy minimizing it now yes you have to follow me the next steps I'm going to perform so I'm writing here um, test and the password field 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right and submitting it and yes our bug suite proxy interceptor in, in, uh, intercepted this request okay as you can see here in the username parameter field we have entered test and in the password field we have entered one two three four five six right now i'm going to copy it copy the entire request and send to repeater okay as you can see it is now highlighted and forward this request I'm going to turn this intercept button off okay as you can see when we enter the test in username and 1256 in the password field we got the message that your password is and username is invalid okay now in repeater we have the capture request you just captured okay I'm going to send it it says okay let's see this uh, entire request response in browser window and copy it copy it and going to paste the request enter yes okay same sorry now what i'm going to do is now i'm going to start sql injection from here i have just uh, entered a single quote in the username field and sending this request let's see the response in the browser And yes, SQL error has thrown on the screen. Let's confirm if this SQL injection is verified or not. Again, and uh, entering single code, forwarding this request, and taking the response, copying it again here, entering and yes it means that the SQL injection is confirmed SQL injection because error has gone as you can see here okay so what I'm going to do is I'm now I'm going to find the uh, number of columns so using order by method order by I'm asking the web server that if there are how many number of columns it has. Sending, copying the response, 
again in browser and we got error let's try to let's use comments I'm using SQ comment let's try if the error is fixed or not Sending. showing the response in browser window and yes it is fixed now proceeding further to check how many number of columns this website has let me ask if it has 100 number of columns in the backend what it says it says no I don't have 100 number of columns so lowering down the number of columns and try again signing taking this response rendering it in the browser it says no I don't have even 10 number of columns lower down the number of columns let's try number six it has six number of columns let's see what happens and again we have error going down further let's try four it has four number of columns Let's try three. If it has three number of columns, and yes, the error is gone. So we found that the number of columns of this website is three. Now I'm going to use a uh, union select method to find out the echoing back column or the vulnerable column you can say so union select union select 1 comma 2 comma 3 let's see what happens Entering the response, and if we got three, the vulnerable and echoing back column is number three. So let's proceed further. Let's check out the version number of the database. Yes, the number, the version is 5.1.73, right? Database, let's see the name of the database. Yes, the name of database is WBC. Okay, so let's proceed to the final step. So I'm using this Dios query to dump all number of tables and columns in one go. So 
I'm going to replace this column number 3 with the tiles and now sending this request to website getting a response in the browser and yes we got the entire tables and columns of this website so but we are interested actually in user or admin columns you know so for that I'm going to search I'm pressing ctrl F I'm pressing ctrl F and now I'm going to search uh, admin admin let me check okay so we have one table with the name wbc underscore admins and the fields are username password and name right so now what I'm going to do here I'm going to copy this and the fields are username password and name okay I have already written the query for dumping the username and password on the screen so I'm going to copy it and pasting here going one step back I'm going to paste it here the column number 3 is replaced with this query along with delimiters for uh, better understanding of results it will dump out okay from WBC admins table execute it show response in browser copying it let's execute in another tab and yes the username is admin and password is super so let me try these credentials but before proceeding further let me open So what we got username admin and password is super let's try if it works or not and yes bingo we are inside the admin panel after performing a successful post SQL injection right so that's all for this video I hope you like this video